Hey friend, welcome to a brand new video. It is your creative weird makeup artist pal Kat to bring you guys another character in our Coraline series. I wanted to do one of the ghost children from the movie. If you haven't seen this movie yet, it is probably in my top three all-time favorite movies. I could watch it every month for the rest of my life and never get sick of it. But before we get started, shout out to these people for leaving amazing comments on this channel. So if you wanna be featured, you know what to do. You guys could also check me out on Amazon Live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time here in the US, but it's everywhere across the world you could view it. Also, I have a PO box you can write me to and an Amazon wish list if you care to support this channel even further. But let's get started with the makeup today and turn into this ghostly like child, our version of it. I was really inspired by Khalees. I think that's how you pronounce her name on Instagram. She's an amazing makeup artist to do my own version of a ghost child from the Coraline movie. There's a couple of ghost children in this movie, actually three, but I wanna do my own version of like a mix between the ghost children and Coraline herself if she was like actually turned into the ghost child. Once like the other mother steals their souls and takes their eyes, they turn into this ghost child. I know it sounds creepy, it is. That's why I have a black background because we are gonna make our body look a little smaller so our face could look doll-like. I'm also gonna put on a wig cap because we're definitely gonna get a wig. I found this beautiful light blue wig that has hints of lavender in it that I cannot wait to use in this video. Not only this video, but other makeups in the future. It's a little wonky, but the colors in it are so gorgeous. Going to flatten my eyebrows down with some glue stick and powder like always because all these characters on Coraline either have like no brows or like a little thin brow. Like a barely there line of a brow. So we're gonna flatten these down so we can paint on top of them and make them disappear. You could do as many layers as you feel necessary but I do about four layers of glue and powder to make my eyes disappear. Not my eyes, my eyebrows. Now that our brows are covered, I'm gonna get some white cream paint to cover up the brows fully to really make it look like we don't have any brows whatsoever. And I'm gonna put it around my eyes and areas where I tend to crease, even though we're gonna probably definitely put buttons on our eyes later. Definitely starting to look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. I feel like the Marshmallow Man. I look scary. Samara, watch out. It's me. I'm the new creepy one. How cool would it be if I transformed into my own scary character with its own backstory, like origin story? I should really do that. I'm just gonna get my powder puff and set my eyes. All right, instead of cream for the rest of my face, I'm gonna use white aqua paint just cause it's easier to work with. With the spray bottle, you're just gonna spray it into your white aqua paint. I'm using Mayrom paints today. This baby is amazing. I'm also gonna paint my ears because I'm gonna try I don't know if I will successfully be able to, but try to have some of them poking out of my hair. Ooh, I look like those Jabberwockies. You remember them? The Jabberwockies that were the dance crew on that show? Now that I look like I'm covered in milk, if you see a cloud of white, it's because I'm dusting my makeup with some white translucent powder. We could even get a big powder puff and get some white eyeshadow. This is the palette I'm using today. It's the Makeup Revolution Birds of Paradise palette. So glad I got this, it's so affordable and so pigmented. I'm gonna get my button eyes and draw where they're gonna be at roughly. So this is the color Vacay from the Birds of Paradise Makeup Revolution palette. And I'm gonna dust in contour around my eyes, the sockets of them. And right here, we're gonna make our mouth look a little sad. Really make it pigmented in the corners on the bottom lip and under the chin. I'm gonna get a very tiny little detail brush to do some under eye backs with these like ghost children. And they have like a shadow hint of brows. I love this blue color. It's like the perfect glowy, spooky blue. That's like almost pastel, but not quite. All right, I'm gonna do some dots of freckles, ghost freckles, and define the brows a little. I'm just getting this same, it's an eyeliner pin for the top lip. Just give that, you know, check, check. You know that cold, you know what I'm talking about? That cold look. I'm gonna grab a matte black eyeshadow just to do some more contour in areas. I'm even gonna get some dark blue mattes to do more contour. 
And on this upper lip, I'm just doing more definition, just getting all this detail. I just feel like it needs more definition in areas to make it look more sad. Now, I know this sounds morbid, but sometimes I think to myself, if anything happens, who would I haunt? If anything happens to my bowl, my bowl, my soul, and it leaves my body, and I'm deceased, and I got to come back as a ghost and haunt people, who would I haunt? I think I would haunt my grandma because she's very close to ghosts and she would understand and listen to me. Although she is almost 100, so maybe it's not good to do. I would definitely haunt my mom, she'd understand. Maybe Bunny. These are people who would be fun to. If I wanted to scare someone out of their mind and be angry, I don't even want to mention that list, to be honest with you. I don't. I'm just doing the outline first so I don't mess it up. But how come we don't see ghosts who are like modern, like ghosts who used to be like actual LA gangsters? They're always like old timey. Hmm? That's what I'm curious about. Do they like only get so many different clothing options in Ghost World? Like you could only do 1950s and older when it's your dress style as a ghost. This is so fun. No, I'm kidding. It's like, it's okay. It's just really time consuming. I feel like a weird Oreo, a spooky Oreo. All right, now I'm gonna get some matte black eyeshadow with a powder puff and just matte out and darken in all the black we just did. Then we should get to be good to put on the eyes and the wig. This is the Beetlejuice matte black shadow too. So it should be nice and pigmented. All right, now it's time for the wig. I got this gorgeous lavender and light blue wig from Amazon that just, I feel like would fit the ghostly version of Coraline and the ghost children. I feel like this is a great wig for that. Ooh, I wonder, I have this. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get my buttons to stick on my eyes. I have this liquid eyeliner that's also lash glue. We're gonna see if this works. Just to make it even, I'm gonna put it on this side too, even though it doesn't work. Next, we're gonna try Q-tips with Prozade. And gosh almighty, this better work. And just like that, we have completed today's look of the ghost child. My version of Coraline's ghost child. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below on what other look you would love for me to do next. I do videos every Monday and Friday here on this channel, so stay tuned for more and subscribe. We also do Amazon Lives every Tuesday, so you can definitely check that out. And we have a P.O. Box you can write to and an Amazon wish list if you care to support this channel even further. This was so much fun to do. I absolutely love doing this. It reminds me of The Haunted Mansion from Disney, and I do not know why. But Coraline is such a great movie and close to my heart. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh my goodness. Oh, these are going to be weird to take off. I hope I did not get prosade in my freaking eyelashes. Let's see what it looks like with just half of this off, shall we? Ooh, this is gonna be terrible to take off in the shower. Look at, it's still staying on. There we go. This is so much fun to do. I cannot wait to do more characters for you all. There's so much to be done still. I am gonna take a shower and take the rest of this off. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is so hard to take off, even with the reusable wipes, but I'm sure I can, I hope. The pink eyeliner in the last Coraline video on the stitches actually stained my skin for a couple days. Hopefully this won't. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!